Waterloo Collegiate Institute is a school of great passion and commitment to striving towards excellence. Through the WCI Senior Boys Basketball Program, these values are taught to its members. They learn how to dig deeper and how to push themselves harder in order to improve as basketball players. Head coach Craig Nickel has created a program where everyone is doing these things not only as a team, but also as a group of committed leaders and passionate WCI students. In this past season, the team showed vast amounts of improvement, which effectively demonstrates their commitment to working hard every day and striving towards excellence. Heading into the 2013-2014 season, the team had lost star forwards Jacob Branton and Danielle Gaudi. Along with multiple other fantastic athletes, the team had made it to OFSA, the provincial level for high school. We were definitely a team in transition. Um, we had graduated a very talented athletic group that had led us to OFSA the year before for our senior boys basketball team. And I, so I, I, I expected change. I expected that um, we'd be a team in transition. We were smaller too. Um, we had a lot of our offensive systems had always been predicated on getting the ball inside and now we were um, going to have to change the way we played so we got off to a slow start and uh, but we definitely got better as the season went on. Luzwick, Daddy, and Jacob, all those uh, key guys like Zach and Adam, a lot of leadership was gone on the team and it, we, we struggled to find the leadership. This year we weren't expected to do well because of the talent we had but because of hard work in the gym and practices and good coaching and us coming together as a team, we had surpassed all of the expectations set by other people. Starting off the season, the team performed predictably terrible. stretch reached its apex when they lost against Grand River. In the Grand River game, we kind of um, didn't play well at all to start the game, and um, it was kind of a rough start to our season. Um, and what happened after the game is kind of our, our coaches got mad at us and uh, were angry at the way we played, but then like that kind of inspired us to sort of like be better the whole season and uh, play the way we did the whole season. Having trained through the Christmas break, something no other high school did, it wasn't soon after this before they had started winning a few games. interesting case this year because really his injuries go back two years. He had a, a very frustrating year last year. He came into, into 
you know, basketball camp this year in good shape and looking like he was going to be able to help us. But he re-injured the leg, and it just it's it's tough to see a kid who never really got to experience WCI basketball fully because of injuries, but stayed completely committed day in day out and uh, really gave his best. Like for a guy who was only at WCI for two years, he really. He really embodied what Viking basketball is about. Are we good? Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, John Milks is a pro. He, um, he really put himself out there for the team. Uh, I remember when he got injured over there and like he fell down and we all kind of knew what was going on and that he was out for the season. But um, yeah, he did lie about his MRI and um, he, he just wanted to play um, his final season. but. Obviously, that didn't turn out very good because he got injured with his ACL again. Yeah. The team's transformation from one of the worst teams to being a top four team in Waterloo County was truly remarkable. It is a testament to how hard they worked and how much effort they had put in to better themselves as a team. Above all, the 2013-2014 senior boys basketball team was one that truly demonstrated how the students of WCI strive towards excellence. This was one of my proudest seasons as a coach, maybe proudest, proudest season as a coach because of what we accomplished. We were not the most talented team, and yet by the end of the season, we were playing really, really good basketball. Um, we, even though we lost to Cameron Heights in the semifinals, anyone who was at that game knows that it was a game um, that we gave Cameron as good a go as anybody in Wixa that you know this year, and uh, we truly were a team where our whole as a, as a team was greater than the sum of our parts. Um, in almost every game we played, if if we had been playing five games of one on one, we would have lost three, four, or five out of those five games every game. But because of what we did together as a group, we we became formidable. A formidable basketball team and so I'm as proud of this team as, as I said as, as I am of the team that went to off, offs of the year before because I feel we achieved our potential as much as that team did.